Hello, welcome to Induction Ceiling 101 with Enercon Industries. We'll first walk you through a few of the benefits of induction cap sealing. One of the most influential events in the history of induction sealing came in 1982 with the Tylenol tampering incident. The ability to provide a tamper evident pharmaceutical package is what really prompted the growth of induction sealing as a whole. Uh, one of the other great benefits of induction sealing is the ability to prevent leakage. We can also prevent pilferage, essentially putting a lock on your product, not allowing consumers to access it until after they have purchased. Uh, we can also increase the shelf life and preserve product freshness. As you can see in this picture, we are able to seal a variety of different shapes and size containers across several different industries. The first step of achieving a perfect seal is to understand what is induction sealing. Induction sealing is a non-contact heating process bonding a foil laminate to the lip of jars and bottles. It's important to note it is a non-contact heating process. We do not actually have to physically touch your product. Uh, we do create a truly hermetic seal and it requires little if any modification to existing packaging lines. There are two components to every induction sealer. You have a power supply and you have a sealing head. The power supply is going to be the most similar piece between manufacturers. There is a myth out there that comparing the kilowatt ratings of power supplies will determine which sealer is going to perform better for you. This is simply not true. Uh, we guarantee our systems will perform to the expectations laid out in the proposal or we will upgrade your system for free. The real dis difference between the systems lies in the sealing head technology. Here at Entercon we have several different sealing head designs. There are flat sealing heads, there are tunnel sealing heads, and we have an all-in-one universal sealing head. Which sealing head is going to be right for you and your application is determined by the size and type of closure that you're looking to run. This picture here depicts a typical flat sealing head. Flat sealing heads are a little bit more universal, typically used in applications with larger caps. Typically, probably about 53 millimeters and larger where, is where you would see a flat sealing head. The tunnel sealing head design is going to be exactly the opposite. You're going to use them for smaller closures. The cap is going to travel through a tunnel in which we use ferrite material to really direct and focus that electromagnetic field onto your smaller liner. You also have an all-in-one sealing head. An all-in-one sealing head is going to be perfect for contract packagers or anybody looking to do a variety of different size closures. We are able to seal any closure size 28 millimeter all the way up through 120 millimeter with this one sealing head. It pivots in four different positions in seven degree increments according to the cap size you're running at that time. This picture depicts a typical two-piece induction liner inside a cap. What you have here is the first layer up inside the cap is a pulp board. This pulp board is bonded to the foil with this layer of wax in the middle. Then you have your foil and you have underneath of that foil a polymer layer. This polymer layer must be compatible with the container material. What happens when the liner is heated, we send out an electromagnetic field. That electromagnetic field vibrates the foil, heating it up. When the foil heats up, the layer of wax is going to melt. It absorbs into the pulp board, separating the foil from the pulp board. Also, the polymer layer is going to melt, and that is what's creating your hermetic seal, sealing to your bottle. Whenever all is done, the wax is up in the pulp board, the cap separates, you have your foil left on the container, and the pulp board is left in the cap. Selecting the proper liner is absolutely crucial. In order to do so, contact your current cap supplier or any line you're manufacturer. There are several out there. Now we'll walk through Enercon's current equipment. The super seal in the top right corner, this is our standard induction sealer. It comes in three different sizes, the super seal 50, the super seal 75, and the super seal 100, depending on how fast you want to go. In the bottom right hand corner, you see the super seal deluxe. This is essentially a super seal 100 with a different processor designed to integrate more easily with our cap inspection system. In the bottom left you see our Super Seal Max. This is for your high speed applications. It also integrates very well with our cap inspection system. In the top left you see the latest addition to the Super Seal family, uh, the Super Seal Touch. With the Super Seal Touch we redesign the cap inspection system, taking setup time from two hours down to simply minutes. We also added a touch screen with operator lockout, password protection, 
and recipe functionality built into it. We also have a full line of handheld and semi-automatic equipment. The SuperSeal Junior is going to be great for lab applications or low volume production runs. The Auto Junior is going to be, again, suitable for lab applications. And the Pneumatic Junior is a semi-automatic capless machine where we are actually able to create an induction seal without a cap. This concludes Induction Cap Sealing 101 with Entercon Industries.